to the amazing Greg, Greg Douglas live at the Bull's Head Barns. We're here on the 45th anniversary of Monterey, Greg. Yes, we are. The Monterey Festival. But the reason I've called you to talk to you right now is to just uh, go back to those days when you were playing with Terry and the Pirates, the wonderful Terry Dolan, and uh, you, you uh, ended up with Steve Miller. Do you want to tell everybody how that happened? It's great sure. Story. This is uh, back when Steve was working on the Flying Like an Eagle record. Uh, well, you appeared on the, the album you yeah. appeared on the course. And uh, Alani Turner kind of came into our lives. He uh, he just appeared one day over at Terry Dolan's house and we became really good friends. And uh, he was telling me how the, re he played me some of the early recordings and I said, where's the guitar solo? He says, well, there are none. Steve doesn't want to do them. And, and in the meantime, Terry, uh, Alani and I were playing in Terry and the Pirates. And Alani had written a song for Dave Mason. Um, that had these goofy words that sounded like Dr. Seuss on acid. And I had written a song for a band called Mistress that I was with back in the early 70s called Paul. And I was never able to, I, I knew it was a great guitar hook, but nobody ever was able to come up with the words for it. Yeah. And so you know, I, I tried to write with the Arma Kalkinen and it, yeah, it just yeah. didn't work. And no so, bad man. So finally, you know, Delani brought the words in. And it was like, I played the guitar for you. Now, I met you on somebody's island. I thought I had no you. I said, fuck, this is working. I said, oh, there you go. Okay. Anyway, uh, so we put it together and it scanned perfectly. So we did we did a demo with Terry and the Pirates, with Terry uh, singing. And Lonnie took it into a recording session. And <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Lonnie took it into it. Want to come on through? So anyway, Lonnie, uh, Lonnie took it into a recording session, and Steve said, "That's a great song." That's a, this was during Book of Dreams. Yeah. Book of Dreams. He was yeah. almost done with Book of Dreams. Oh, this poor guy. And he uh, yeah. he needed a John Lennon type rocker, and he couldn't find. He couldn't write it. Nobody else was coming out with it. And he heard Jungle Love, and he said, "Who's the guitarist?" That guitar part took the top of my head off. When he came up with the slide, oh. and I said, he said, well, that's Greg Douglas. He said, do you know where he is? He says, yeah, he's right here in Sausalito. They were recording Sausalito, which is where I was living. And that's where the heli pool is, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So they called. Oh, yeah. They called me at home, and they said, well, what's going on? I said, well, I'm just sitting here watching TV. And so I just played John Love for Steve, and he wants to record it. And I said, well, when? He says, well, now. So I said, you're kidding me. And you know, so I went and got my guitar, and my wife said, where are you going? I said, I'm, I'm going to go off and record with Steve Miller. She said, yeah. <laughs> and I said, no, really, Lonnie just said, wow, that's great. And it all worked out. And I went down, I set up my amp, and, and I met Steve, and he, he said you know, some really nice things. He could not figure out the guitar part to save his soul, oh. because it was in an open blues turn. Yeah. And uh, we did the song, I think, like twice. In, or three days. It took about 20 minutes. And that was it. It was done. So how, long, how long did you stay with him after that? I was with him for three or four years. Yeah, great. And as a matter of fact, we went, uh, went to the ship. We went down to LA. They were uh, shooting some videos. This is before MTV. They would show videos over in Japan. Yeah. Four movies like cartoons. Yeah, yeah. And newsreels. And we uh, we did Jet Airliner, Rock and we did Jungle Love. And so I flew down there, and I still wasn't in the band. I was still just a guy who had recorded yeah. the song. And after the filming was over, he came to my hotel room. He says, "Would you like to join the band?" Yeah. At that point, they had just gone number one that day. So uh, was like, that, that, was, was, that was cool. Yeah. That was that was a no-brainer. So yeah. that, that was just like it was like a dream. Wow. Was, so here, here we are, all these years later. You you working with the, the former members now? Now here I am with these uh, three amazing musicians. Wonderful little star yeah. band. Yeah. Great guys, and it's just the the tour has been a blur, but it's been a wonderful tour. We've we've been getting two and three encores a night, and it's just been uh, it's been absolutely incredible. So Exhausting. this this is some of your own material and some of the best of everything you've been in. Yeah, and just, and just some different stuff. You know, we'd be jamming. We say, well, that works. Let's do it. Yeah. So it's just it's been a real voyage of discovery, and you know the the best thing about this band is everybody likes and respects each other. Yeah, which helps and which is it. very unusual as you know. Well 45 years after Monterey, who would have thought you'd all come together and celebrate I, the fact and not me. Some, that's fantastic. It's been Pete Feast to talk to Greg Gluck. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks Nick Pete. Dalton on the camera and good evening. Thanks Nick. Press the button Nick. Over to us press the stop it.
That's, there you have it. That's all. That's all. That's all we're gonna. Yeah. That's all gonna be.